So to convert, let's say between kilometers and uh, not millimeters. So let's say you want to convert kilometers to millimeters. And uh, this is one strategy. There are many different ways you can solve this, but this is one uh, way of solving it. So kilo is a prefix. Milli is also a prefix. So meter and meter, these are the units, right? So we are converting from a prefix to a prefix. Now, when you have to convert from a prefix to another prefix, one easy way is to convert first to your unit without any prefixes. What do I mean? So from kilometers, you can convert first to meters. So I got rid of the prefix. My unit is still meters, right? But I got rid of the kilo here. And now from meters, you can convert to millimeters. The reason you want to do this in two steps is that it's it might be easier because we know the conversion between kilometers and meters, meters and millimeters. It just becomes easier. So let's see how we're going to solve this. So two steps. First, you want to convert from kilometers to meters. And then step two, you want to convert from meters to, to millimeters. Now for step one, to convert from kilometers to meters, I know that each kilometer is 1000 meters, correct? Now, I can write this equality as a fraction. So I can write one kilometer is 1000 meter or each 1000 meter is one kilometers. So whenever I want to convert from kilometers to meters, I can use one of these two fractions or conversion factors to convert. Now let's look at the step two for this conversion. You want to convert from meters to millimeters. So we know that each meter is 1000 millimeters. So I can write this as a fraction when I need to do my conversion. I can say each meter is 1000 millimeters or each thousand millimeters is one meter. All right. So now that I know my conversion factors and um, I know how to break this, you can just plug in any number. Let's say you want to convert three kilometers. You want to know how many millimeters it is. So I start with three kilometers. And from kilometers, I first want to convert to meters and then to millimeters. Now, kilometers to meters, these are the possible conversion factors I can use. So I want to choose the one in which kilometer and kilometer cancel out. So I use the second one, 1000 meter, one kilometer. Now kilometer and kilometers cancel out. Now, second one, this is a step one. Now, step two, I want to convert from meters to millimeters. So I want to choose the conversion factor in which meters and meters cancel out. And I end up with only millimeters. So that would be three times 10 to the sixth millimeters.